Hi guys, I'm coming to y'all with a video and it log you. I have it with a four by six and this is how I'm gonna print my, my barcodes. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it on a four by six so you won't have to buy the, the individual tape. I get my uh, four by sixes for free by UPS so I don't have to buy no labels, but I did have some. These like this on my last video. And the thing that I don't like about this, it needs to go this way because this thing right here doesn't fit this size one inch it only is two inch so it, it doesn't work well with this uh, even though i did the video it's still you got to fight with this paper to get it printed so you got to get the labels that's going this way feeding out this way instead of narrow okay so i have that set i'm going to go ahead and show y'all that i do print off excel and i'm going to show y'all how to do it by the fix four by six instead of the the one by two or the two by one so how i generate my barcodes rugged tablet pc.com when you type it in, you don't even have to put the diet com, but make sure when it does pop up in the, the feed, you press the bar generator and don't press this right here because it's going to show other stuff that they sell. So you want to go ahead and click on barcode generator, open it up, and you get this right here. You scroll down and it shows you all the um, symbology of which ones to choose from. It depends on what kind of business you are. I choose between the 39 and the 128. I'm gonna choose the 128. You're gonna do include text. Medium, it depends on how big you want your barcode to be. I want a small barcode and you put the image format, you need to keep it on PNG, but they do have other formats, but you want the PNG to have a clear background. And, and this is the barcode where you're gonna enter your values, okay? Now remember that the longer the description, the longer the barcode. The shorter the description, the shorter the barcode. So you wanna try to not put so much of your whole description unless you want a, a long barcode. And so most of the time you're gonna to have to do a large format. So what I like about this one, you don't have to worry about dealing with links. You can do links and embed, but I don't want the hassle of links and embed. I just want to generate, copy, and print. I don't want the links have to go into my Excel. So I'm gonna go ahead and type something here and just show y'all what I mean by That's what I want. I just did a short description of the title of that product. You're gonna go ahead and press generate, generate barcode image. It's generated, you gotta to scroll to the top. And here you go, you see your download barcode generated here. You're gonna click, it's gonna open up in another browser and you're gonna copy this. You're gonna right click it and you're gonna choose copy image you're going to copy that image into your excel which i'm going to bring up right here okay once you have it there you're going to just go ahead because it's already copied to your clipboard and you're going to say paste so it already pasted there now what you can do is move this around because it does have the framing around it to where you can move it anywhere in the frame that you want to make sure I like to move it so it won't be on the top or the edge or anything. So it, it will print well. Okay, now if you want to do a description, the name of like the size or something like that, you can also type it in like this. You All you do is click that. Even though it disappear, it's just letting you know that you're not texting into the barcode. So I just put the same thing here. I'm just gonna say this is a coffin, medium, natural and i'm gonna click enter and your barcode is going to be right there in that and that's set but what i want to do now since you know how to do all that we got to get it to your thermal printer if you click on it it's going to think you want to do something with your barcode but don't click right here because you're going to um select your barcode you got to click right there on the words for you to select that box you can't click in the middle or you're going to collect that. So you have to make sure you click your, your um, box. And make sure you don't click it multiple times because then it's going to select the text. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down my shift key. Use my arrow keys and select 
I think I'm gonna select these four boxes here. I think I can fit these four boxes right here. And you're gonna let go your shift. You're gonna go to file. You're gonna go to print. Now, it's already showing on my four by six because I already had did it. So you, you're gonna pick your um, your printer that you're using. I'm sorry about the glare, y'all, but y'all already know. Okay, you're gonna select your printer and this is the logic of printer. Make sure it's online and it's ready. You're gonna print print selection only. If you don't print the print selection that we highlighted, it's gonna try to print that whole page of everything else that you have on there. And then you're gonna do print on one side. You're gonna delete that to whatever that is. You're gonna print uh, landscape orientation and you're gonna customize your page, which you're going to customize it, meaning that you're going to customize your margins, meaning your left, your right, your top, everything is zeroed out. And if you wanna center it, you're, you're gonna select these two right here. And that's it, and you're gonna press OK. With the options, let me see what options. Right here, you just, you just keep it to 90 degrees if you want to. It depends on if you wanna do it landscape, this way or whatever, that's what that is. You're gonna press OK. And then you're gonna print. Make sure your, your um, thermal printer is on. I just wanna do one copy, and I'm gonna print. Okay, so here's my paper. I got a free four by six, and I put, I can do 16 labels on here. In order for this printer to work, you have to have a USB wire to your laptop. And what I do with these guys, I will just use this right here for y'all real quick, just to show y'all. Go ahead. And this is what I do. I just use my little cutting tool here. Ooh, I almost cut that um, edge off. <laughs> That's all right. And then you cut it again. Going this way. Y'all get the gist of this. Just make sure that you line this up perfect to where you're not, you're not cutting off anything. So that sad. You could really trim that off real good. That's if you don't want to have to spend that egg. This is just shaving money to where, you know, you don't have to purchase the thermal labels. You get my deal if you could just use your four by six and cut them up.